vlogs. Um, so it is a Saturday night. Um, I propped you, you guys up there. Um, I'm gonna ice my face just because I had mosquito bites, which you probably guys would have known about from the Grease Travel vlog. If you haven't watched the Grease Travel vlog, then go ahead and watch it. So I'm just gonna ice my face. If I can get my face iced, so we got one of these. And I'm just icing my face. I've washed my face, I'm just icing it because I had mosquito bites inside my face. And then when I came back to the England, I also had, I also got heat rash like literally straight away. It was the weirdest thing ever um, as I was traveling back to my home. Respectfully, the heat rash decided to literally take my face. It was insane. My face looked so angry. I wish, like, I would have taken a picture, but honestly, I was fuming. The heat rush made my skin look so, so angry. Like, I was honestly like, oh my god, what have I, what have I done? Um. Anyway, so I'm just icing my face, which has been helping a lot. Um. Icing your face is also really good as well. This is why I bought this in the first place. Um, so I've just been icing my face, which has been helping to just get the mosquito bites down, get the heat rash gone. I've just got a face cloth underneath just to catch any of the water running off. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I saw my grandmother today, um, just to check on her and also thank her for the money for my birthday. I got some really cute, cool presents. I haven't seen my dad yet, so only God knows what my dad would have bought me, to be honest with you. I'm still off from work, so this week is gonna be oh, fun. Look at this, guys. My tan oh, is beautiful. I do wanna plan a solo trip so I can keep it topped up. Yeah, throughout summer. And throughout winter, I just wanna look golden. This is what I got, the rose. The Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. We're gonna try it, girls. We're gonna try it. A lot of people like rant and rave about this toner as well, so I'm very excited. It's actually got rose in it. I wanna continue my skincare and then go get into bed. So, this is just the start of the vlog to say hello. Back in the UK, regular vlogs. You know the deal. Even though the vlog, I know why I sound up breath because my hay fever is killing me, punching me in the face, in the nose, even. And because the air is quite dense, it's also making my asthma kind of flare up a bit as well. So I'm just going all the time. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. Today is Sunday. I'm not doing a full big Sunday reset clean, and I can't because, um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog, but someone's coming to basically fix my windowsill. So some of my stuff is not, like, the majority of my things are not in, in my bedroom. So I'm literally just, like, waiting for them to hurry up and fix what they need to fix so I can clean thoroughly and put everything back. Because I don't see the point in me cleaning when they're coming tomorrow to then do everything else. This was supposed to be done before I... This was supposed to be done during the time I was away. So when I came back, I would just do, like, a big Sunday clean. But no, the people, ugh, I'm back, I'm looking sun-kissed, I'm looking cute. We'll go out today, I'm gonna get some bits from Holland and Barrett's, I'm gonna be back on my fitness game. So I've ordered my like juice powders from Real. I ordered the gut health, the gut something one now, which is a green juice, but it's good for your gut. And then I also ordered the balanced tonic, which is for female health as well. So that would help 
for my periods and things like that and just skin nails hair blah 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 so i want to wait for that to come which should be this week i'm off this week as well from work so there's that too so i don't have to wake up early tomorrow actually i do have to get up early tomorrow because my nails have proper proper chips now like they look so bad um so i'm getting them done for free yeah getting them fixed um yesterday i went to chiswick and i went to space and k and i got the naturium the brightener vitamin c body wash i've got the multi vitamin one which i do like so i want to try this one and i'm gonna just like i didn't like i changed my bed sheets i'm just gonna bathe bathe my skin go out and sit to holland and barrett's and enjoy some of the sun and stuff I hope everyone's having a lovely relaxing Sunday as per usual and yeah, see you. I'm gonna have to stop blow drying and straightening out my hair as much just because I've noticed some parts are looking a little more straight than others. My hair is still wet but I just put in like a wet bun or whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Barriers. And get a few. Oh, the euros. Oh, I still have euros. I think this bag is I got from Greece. Isn't it not just like adorable? Heck. Oh. Oh, well. bye. See y'all later. Oh, before I go. Imagine, I went to Holland and Barrett, right? I'm holding my hair like this. Let me, where's that fit? So I went to Holland and Barrett, right? And I have obviously an account there. So the girl was searching and she said my name, right? She said my last name wrong. And I was like, it's this. She was then like, oh, like tomato, tomato. Bearing in mind, the girl's also black. So I was just a bit like, yeah, girl, no. <laughs> like this. So I was like, no, it's this. And the white guy next to was like, I'm really sorry. But how is a white person apologizing for you, a black person, for saying another black person's name wrong? You're saying my name wrong, you're telling me tomato tomato. It's not tomato tomato, it's my name. I don't ever want to be sad by her again. Freaking rude. Like, so rude. So rude. So disrespectful. Like, you're also black. Like, why are you behaving like an idiot? Any hips, I still enjoyed my time outside in the sun. It looks like it's got a thunderstorm though, um, because the clouds are getting a bit heavy, so I did come in quite quickly. I'm just gonna relax myself now and eat some food. Probably watch a film and then just relax. Tomorrow I have to be up early because I have to go to my nail appointment because they need to fix this is ghetto um and then i also have my eye test that i book tomorrow as well which means that i can then order my new glasses i have no the glasses that i want so i need to go try them on again in the shop um which i might do early <sighs> see this is what i mean when i have a week off i'm like yeah i have a week off to do nothing and just lay in but then i actually don't because then i actually start planning things to do adult is different like you actually like you take time off but you essentially take time off to do the things that you would do if you had more time during your when you during the time that you work. So then in effect, you don't actually get holiday. And the only time you do actually get holiday is when one, you have absolutely nothing to do. Number two, you go away. Like you leave the country, you vacate. Insane, insane. But anyway, <sighs> that's a rant for another day. Oh my God, no. Bye. <laughs> Who gave you deals? Who gave that guns? Pull up central and lick. Too many convicts that roll me to play in this shit. Tried to run hard since me and old summer spreading this bitch. They had the kind of like lighting it up, nigga. Hand it back and get it. Just want to say good morning. I'm going to eat. I've already just worked out. And then I'm going to start my day. I need to drop, do some returns. And then also go and buy a wavy bundle of hair or something. 
um, just so I can do like a different kind of kind of ponytail. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is hot. Right. I'm getting ready. My friend is performing today, um, and he's putting out. He's performing some unreleased stuff. So. I'm gonna make a fan of his. If you don't know, then I'm gonna link him below. Quality Black, yeah. And Nia are going to see what this is all about. I'm just putting on some SPF. Honestly, with how I feel, I'm putting on the bare minimum of makeup. The bare mins. It's warm in London. It's hot, even. Like, it's hot. Um, my camera's also dying, as per usual now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, what am I going to wear? Do you know what I mean? Um, so, mm, the eggs, not my lip is clearing up, which is great, which is fabulous. I was stressed, I don't know what I was stressed about. Anywho, so yeah, I'm getting ready. I'm putting on the bare minimum, as I said before, the bare bones of makeup because it's hot outside. <laughs> And I've just come back from holiday, so really and truly, truly and really, my skin, she don't need a lot. So I'm gonna use the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I love this stuff. I I love it so much. It's basically my summer shade, um, my winter shade, um, which is amazing. I I'm so sorry. I absolutely love my skin darker. I feel I feel the sexiest in summer. I can't lie to you. And maybe it's because the sun's out, but I honestly do. Um, so I'm just gonna put on a little bit, like a smidgen of her, just to add some like glow. To you guys, this will look like nothing, and to me, this will also look like nothing. But just like a little. Something, something keeping it very light for the forehead i just wanted to cover up those lighter looking marks but i don't want to do anything too heavy complexion wise and then put on just a little bit of concealer like and this is in the shade of monday which is my shade and then just Underneath. nothing too much do you know what i mean it's hot i'm so sorry like kudos to the girls like kudos to the girlies who do full face all year round like it looks like i haven't really done anything and that's what i want it to look like i want it to look like i woke her like this because i woke her like this i'm off for the week i keep thinking that it's wednesday when in fact it's tuesday so yeah next week i'm back at work <laughs> oh i'm thankful that i have a job i'm thankful i have income and money coming in but jesus like i also got a new hair bundle which is currently in my hair i'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys like a proper ponytail tutorial but i got like a wavy something sign because i you know it's, it's summer we're coming to give them island girl island girl island girl island so see a bit of loose and when I say a taintsy, I mean a taintsy. What colour is this? Strawberry drip has been, has had me by the neck. By the neck. I've got how amazing the little cream blushes are from Fenty. Like I actually forgot. But they're so good at adding just like a nice little, I don't know, a nice little glow. Nothing too heavy. Definitely for the light coverage babes if you just want like a subtle glow to the cheeks. This is for you. I'm not gonna bronze, I'm not gonna contour, cause natural contour, baby, natural hair cheeks. So I need to be stepping out of my house literally just before, just before 5.30, I need to be stepping out of my house. Cause it literally takes me from West London, it takes me like something silly to get to show just like 20 minutes or something silly now, which is, Chef's kiss, tan tan. Only a little schmidgel. 
I told you guys I'm keeping makeup, 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 makeup light. I'm not bringing my vlogging camera out with me either. So if I get footage, obviously it'll be on my phone. And you know how I do when I edit that in. So it feels a bit strange to be back vlogging. Like, I don't know, I've been vlogging this whole time, but. <clears throat> I was like, oh my god, after the Grease vlog, which was like, different, something I've never done and it's exciting and it was really nice to edit, I'm like, I'm not saying that the normal vlogs aren't nice to edit, but it's like, wow, I really want to be doing this, like, I really want to be travelling and bringing you guys with me and showing you like all these cool new places. But yeah, this is the face. Let me take off this to show you guys real quick what we're working with here. <laughs> oh, is it slick? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm basically ready. Um, I all got me a locket for my birthday. I asked for a gold locket and this is what she got. It's got Mother of Pearl, which is my birthstone. Obviously, Gemini. It's so cute. So I've been wearing that and my brother got me a bracelet which I need to put on. I also need to change my watch strap, which I should do now actually. I always change it to this one, but I want one that's like gold and silver. Cause she's gold. I always wear it on this side. I just do. Anyway, my camera's dying. So I'm gonna say bye before she cuts me off again. Rude. Have a great evening guys. See you soon. Bye. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm currently going to, well I'm going back on myself because I got off at the wrong stop. Yeah, anyway it's hot in London, it's like 26 degrees. So I'm looking cute and stuff, I'm just going to go and get some lunch and then look at some solo travel bits. But yeah, I'm going back on myself, so we'll check in when I've sat down in air conditioning. Hi, I'm back home. I literally just have just come out of the shower. Um, I always talk to you guys when I'm in the shower, but like, I've just come out of the shower because I have shower thoughts, right? I had a nice cold shower. Because I've come back to the UK and obviously the weather is amazing. It's so warm outside, it's like 26 degrees. The chefs absolutely stunning i said i have to go outside like obviously whilst i'm off i must be outside like even if it's just get some lunch or sit in mm, i haven't sat in the park because my hay fever yeah um but if it's just to, like go outside go for a walk or just do something outside in the sun i must do it because do you know why the town has to stay she has to stay um so today i decided i was gonna go to so my mind changed like probably about three times, no, twice, no, three. Mm. It changed. And it ended up at Bluebird Cafe, which is really nice actually. Um, really nice in there. The service is okay. The service isn't a hundred percent. The guy I had once he was with me was chefs. He was amazing, he was 10 10, but the service when you initially go in it was a bit like, is somebody gonna see me? Hello, but my, it's a cute little spot. I will go back. 
whilst I also look for my solo trip, which I found, and I'm really excited because I've already booked the time off work in September, but I'm not going to, well, I was going to go to New York. Um, but I'm sorry guys, I, every time I think about going to America, I just think that my money is being used to fund the nonsense that happens in that country and I don't like it. So America is still on my blacklist. Unless, I don't know, something in the future happens, but I don't know, I don't know. I've been to America when I was young, like, uh, yeah. I figured out my solo trip, which is gonna be in September. Only for, I think it's like four, three nights or something, or four days. It's not long, or four days or five days or something. So it's not a long trip. It was just a trip for me to like, do, for number one, do a solo trip, and number one, just get away and just by myself and just do things and like focus on me and just not anyone else and just have me time completely, complete solitude. So excited. I just need to book it, but I also need to just, I know I'm going, I just need to double check that that's the place, that's the hotel I want to stay at, that's like the area of the hotel I want to stay in etc 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 so I just need to make sure all that's done um once I finalize that in my head then plans to book plans to book plans to stay let's put on some clothes real quick oh my god every time I've been using a few different natural deodorants there's one from Holland and Barrett which is the salt of the earth classic unscented this one which is okay. I'm not like completely sold. However, now, Madeline Goins, I tried the eucalyptus one and I liked it, but the um, Bergamot one, yeah. Yeah. I haven't smelled. <laughs> it's creamy in texture. It smells amazing. And even when I do sweat, my sweat smells like citrus. Right, so I don't smell. Let me bring you guys over here because I need to do my skincare. Let's just do some stuff real quick. I just what's it called I just put cold water on my face and I came in so nothing extensive here I'm just gonna moisturize my face because it's really dry I've gone back to using this yeah and I must say it's really been helping my skin just to get better just makes all of that look sense to be honest Whoa. yeah right let's walk back over there this is a very quick run my lips are very dry hold on this is a very quick oh this is now too low oh here we go i don't this is a quick run and it's just like here's the thing right it's hot outside, okay? Being curvy or being like having big boobs, having a having big bum, having big thighs, this type of body shape, right, is very it's very nice but also it's very irritating. And I'll tell you why. I don't even care about the heat. Dealing with the heat it's it's fine for me. That's not even the point. Like I love the, the sun's out. What irritates me is the looks that you get when you're wearing the same outfit that someone who is smaller than you would wear. I, I absolutely hate, and it actually, actually irritates me so much, being like, overly sexualized out on the road. Men will be staring. For what? The girl that she just walked past me in the same fucking outfit. And it's a thing where it's like, I know that I can wear what I want, whenever I want, da, 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 da. like I get it, like I'm not stupid, I wear what I want all the time, but I just want to be able to walk out of my house and to not be looked at in any type of way by any type of man who looks like they can be my granddad or my... No, no hard back man, yeah, come in to look at me any, anyhow. I understand I can wear what I want, I know I can wear what I want, I get it, but what you don't get, what you're not getting is that it's irritating, it still doesn't take away from the fact that it's upsetting, it doesn't take away from the fact that it actually angers me, it doesn't take away from the fact that it makes me feel uncomfortable, and I don't want to feel uncomfortable, oh granted, I will still wear my shorts, you guys, I think you guys saw what I would say, but literally, it wasn't even that deep, like, 
people are really like when girls who have boobs or have bum or have this or that go outside in hot weather and wear certain things sorry people literally act like you've walked outside the house naked it's so irritating i'm sorry only people who have body shapes like mine or who have big boobs big bum curvy did it like only those type of people will understand what i'm actually trying to say here and it's not to take away from anyone else or what anyone else is going through blah 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 but i'm talking about me how i feel and how i feel like a lot of other women and young girls will feel it is annoying I've had this room since i was young it pisses me off and it's just like you're an old ass man <laughs> oh, my nose. yeah you're a grown ass man like grown as i said hardback man why are you looking at me i could literally be like your daughter, I could be your granddaughter even in fact. I could even be your great granddaughter in fact at this point. Like stop staring. What is wrong with you? I get, I say all this to say, I'll still wear my shorts, I'll still have my back out, I'll still have my boobs doing boob, boob, boob. Do you know what I mean? But it just, it doesn't take away the feeling that it gives you. It just doesn't. Um, trying to be sexy and not feel uncomfortable when certain men are leering quite literally it's like allow it yeah allow it because the way the way certain men just get away with looking at women and young girls just anyhow is wild there's not enough being said there's not enough being done and if me at 30 years of age can walk outside of my house and men make me feel uncomfortable that is a problem Okay? Right. I'm actually fucking over it. Other than that, I had a great day, guys. Still a sun kissed babe. I need to drink some water. And I also need to get on editing this vlog. And I think I also have a skincare, a holiday skincare video for you guys. But I'm not sure. It depends on how short it is. But we'll see. It might be a short. But again, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That is good. That's a, you see? Yeah. The glow is it's sensational. It's sensational. Not, not all angles. Hello! The melanin is better than it. last week I went to Greece last week and then I had like a little drinks thing very intimate setting um it was with Reese Nana who you guys have now met wow she's in the vlogs wow wow she's also a vlogger so I will link her below I also link Reese below as well because he also vlogs so I'll link their channels below and then um Nia was there and Claudia was there my babes and honestly, just having people's presence around you who actually are for you in every capacity is the most top tier thing in the world. Like my friends, whether they were 
with me today or not with me like my friends like the people I have around me are just beautiful handsome people inside and out and the inside is the most important thing so I love them to bits like and I hope they know that I Ooh. I hope they know that I love them to bits you went to Soho House right but not them mashing up my peenies if you know peonies are my faves, but like, not them trying to mash up my peonies. Um, rude much. Anyway, Reese got me some stuff and then I got me peonies. I've also got cards. I need to reread because I don't want to be crying in the restaurant. Guys, 30 is, my entrance into 30 has been like, like top tier. I actually cannot wait for like, the thing, like things to just, plan out and just map out for me like I'm I'm so intrigued and I'm so ready for just change and and good new change and all those things so yeah I'm just I'm feeling really grateful right now I'm feeling really grateful and I think on that note I might end the vlog here and just say like <sighs> I'm happy like I'm I'm happy I'm good I'm loved like everything will work out. Everything could be amazing. Wow. Life is so good, man. Life is so good. Bring out a bang.